Hi, everybody. So, um, I am making this video to talk about infusion number three. Um, I went to my oncologist and they do blood labs every time before you start because they have to check your blood counts and your glucose and your potassium and a little bit of everything. And I was waiting for my results to come in while my husband was getting his iron infusion ready. And the nurse came up to me and said they couldn't do it. My white blood cells dropped drastically low. And when I say drastically low, a cancer patient is supposed to have 2.2 white blood cell count at a minimum to get chemo infusion. Mine was at 0.2. Point two. That's what it went down to. So now I am basically quarantined. I am very, very high risk for infections right now. And the plan is I cannot go into stores, gas stations. I'm supposed to stay away from groups and um, crowds. I was bummed out as in kind of sad and um, disappointed that I had to miss a Halloween party my cancer group was doing because I can't be around groups right now and so I had to miss out on that. Missing out really sucks when you're trying to live life to the fullest. Sucks no matter what because you feel trapped, but I am listening. I am not going into crowds. Tomorrow, my daughter has like this kid fall fest that's going on in town where they can decorate cupcakes and there's fall activities and whatnot. I originally planned on taking her and her cousin together. And since I can't be in crowds, Luckily, Grandma Jojo is to the rescue, and she's taking the grandkids to go to the festival. I am not going to stop my child from living her life because of germs. She'll just sanitize and wash up when she gets home. We're all good. Um, the plan of attack is next Wednesday. They're hoping my numbers are back up and I can have infusion, but... Um, they think that I'm going to have to have white cell boosters, which I do not want because I have had them before and it was a higher dose. So hopefully it won't be so dramatic if I have to do it again. But when I had one, I believed I made a video a while ago um, about my bone growth. It's a bone marrow growth, which is where your white blood cell count comes from if my mouth will work with me. Um, the white cell booster is a bone marrow booster and they would do, she said, two or three boosters in a row. So I'd have to go in every day for two to three days and get a shot. And when I had the original one that was like six milligrams or whatever, I was in the bathroom puking sick and I was sick in bed for like two days and my body hurt and I was miserable and it took a long time for my body to shake it off and my what white blood count still took a long time to come up even after that so this is really frustrating that it's happening again that my body is fighting getting help and um, it's been doing really, really amazing, helpful things with my liver. And that's the main reason why we started is because my liver keeps getting worse. 
and the tumors are spreading and getting more aggressive. And so we started the infusion and my numbers for my liver are going down. So it's working and it's helping, but having to stop and I'm praying and hoping we can start again on Wednesday because I don't want to have to go through the boosters again, but she said that getting sick for a couple days outweighs the benefit because, you know, helping my liver and me live longer is kind of the point. Um, I'm also very balding. You can't, oh, you can see. I'm balding. I haven't brushed my hair in two days because so much is falling out that I just left it in a bun and my daughter is cutting it off tonight and we are shaving my head because I am tired of losing handfuls of hair. It is, it's mixed emotions. Like part of me doesn't care because it's just hair. It'll grow back. And a part of me is sad because we don't, I, we join me on my journey. <laughs> I don't have control over it. I have control over I get to shave it, but I don't have control over it falling out. It's just, it's happening no matter what. And it's not little bits. It's not a couple hairs. It's, I tuck behind my ear and a chunk falls out. So I will be bald and that's okay. Bald is beautiful. I have wigs, I have hats, things to keep my head warm. I'm a little chilly today and I have my hair, so I'm thinking tomorrow morning I'll be wearing a beanie. But I'm I'm grateful that I get today. I'm grateful that I have the support group I have. I'm going to have family around me and help me shave my head tonight. So if all my emotions come out, I have support and love around me and that's good. I am very blessed, even though this is a very hard and weird time, but this is why I go to therapy because I don't deal with emotions well. I I have processing blocks. I just my my brain doesn't know how to handle big emotions. I don't It's not that I try to ignore it. It's that my body can't break it down because I feel multiple things at once. I don't just have one feeling. So, my emotions might break loose tonight when we shave my head. We shall find out, but that is my update for now. I am going to document my hair coming off, but it'll depend on how I feel about sharing it or not. I might share it with just select people. I might post it for the world to see, but for now, that is what I know. I hope you all have a great, what is today? Friday. It's Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed weekend, and I love you all.